right here. First ten. I'm gonna lose every oh, match. Shit. <laughs> I am playing Apex for the past three, uh, uh, past month. I haven't played this game at all. So I always thought no, like a hundred was the max at the beginning of the Me game. Me versus Watson. No. The classic match. Isn't like the that? max? Hmm. Is there a max on the level? No, no, no there's not. There's, there's some, uh, like, there, I think there it's has to eventually. Duncan player, he's like, uh, he's like level so like 34,000. Like the man. I feel like, like I, what, what I'll be doing? honest, I feel like at some point there's gonna be a max for your probably level. Probably just gonna be 999. Nine. Yeah, probably. Dude, That's what I, I was thinking who's, too. It was 8,000 when I played him. He's a fucking PO player. 8,000? Oh, I fought yeah. someone that was 16,000. And they were fucking awesome. Like not, not like 16,000 exactly, like close to it. It was like 14. But they were ass, right? No, they weren't ass. They fucking. It was a foul. <laughs> have no fight. Bro, I fought people that are like level 1,000. They're just terrible. Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just weird. wondering how you play a character so much, and yet you are oh, so yeah. ass. I think that is every level 1,000. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you play Soul so much, he's such a simple character, yet you just still try to make the DP work like it's season one, bro. Like the game just came out, go away. <laughs> I, I messed that so up. I didn't play Strife for like four months because of Launch Soul. Launch Soul? Nah, I would have liked Soul. He was, he I, was overly I, hated. I would have guaranteed. Was not that bad. I guarantee like I would have played Soul. In this patch. So I would have, I would have definitely played Soul if I would have had the game. Yeah. Soul was sick, actually. I miss top tier. I would, I would like I play Soul idea. as a side character and I'd main uh, chip. Cause yeah, I shouldn't have listened to all of the the Soul hate. I should have just allowed myself. Oh. I kind of like lab coat and fighters. <laughs> Like I feel like lab coat's over hated in all honesty. Oh, you finally said it. Like I, I personally don't like how the character plays because I think she's too easy. But other than that, <laughs> you've I, never I, even I, played her. I have actually. How? I've never played her on PlayStation, but yeah, she, she's basically just like a fucking bar. She feels like a Marvel character. Yeah. <laughs> Because the fucking OTG pops. Yeah, her combos just go for it ever. It's like I'm fucking watching Doom. Nah, I like the character. I just think she's too easy. That is my biggest problem with her. <laughs> I felt like yeah, the I need to start doing the 2K adopt instead. Ah, I forgot I have it in English. You weird. May's voice is so weird. I don't know. Nah, it's because I did the story mode and I never changed it back. Oh. Did you even finish the story mode yet? Mode? No, I haven't. That's why I never changed it back. Because the story mode is a fucking cinematic masterpiece. It's uh... actually... Nah, you don't understand. My first VOD to get 100 views was just me playing the story mode. <laughs> so just me watching a movie with my community. Exactly. I didn't know what you meant by playing. It's a uh, fucking... Nah. I can't wait to get a PC anyways, because I don't want to do like reaction shit. The story mode in this game is so, it's so bro, good, bro. I, 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 they need to add it to where like there's quick time events and shit though, so like there's actually shit to do. Or, like you can play fights like Mortal Kombat and shit. Yeah, exactly, like any other story mode. Anime yeah. games need to just yeah. take notes from fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. Yeah, just they got like living towers. Make make the story mode like things. playable, and then add some quick time events like storm type shit. What are, what does MK11 call them? I know um, X called uh, them living towers. Towers or... of time. Yeah, the towers of time. Yeah, towers of time is actually pretty really cool. It's a really good idea. I don't think it's. They the need to bring back tester mode, might like, though. Yeah. yeah, just small things like that are sick. Tester Might was sick. You would break your fucking fingers and your controller just to try to do something that doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, <laughs> All you would get is a Sub Zero skin. It was amazing. Yeah. Yo, Andre, you remember what happened to my wall or my door actually? <laughs> 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 remember what happened to it? It's a good thing y'all don't live there anymore. 
Did y'all have to replace it for me? Yeah, we had to replace it. How much did it cost? I was only like 20. Oh, okay. It was somewhere in my room. Thing. My room is a uh, cheap ass store. Like it, it was a cheap, it was a holiday. Ah. Uh. Bro. We're playing Fortnite. Out of all the games, I know, right? <laughs> Nah, and this motherfucker Fortnite killed me. Fortnite is a rage game, bro. And I was acting, I was acting like his brother, cause his brother rages on Fortnite a lot. And then I ended up throwing the chair out of his fucking hollow door. <laughs> nah, but Fortnite do be a rage game sometimes. I still can't get over how AJ did us yonder. Right? I can't get over that, bro. <laughs> he said I haven't played in years. Gets on and just fucking bullies us for an hour. AJ. He was capping though, he had that Chun-Li skin. He did not uh -huh. play for over one year. <laughs> mm. Fucking low-key plays mm. Fortnite on the side. Mm. Low -key. Cheating bastard. When I said I hadn't played Fortnite, I meant it. The mm. only time I got on Fortnite in my mm. past year was for the Naruto shit. That's not true. You didn't even get on for the Dragon Ball stuff? Well, Remember? yeah, it's not true yeah. now, but that was after the AJ bullshit. Mm. Okay. I didn't even get on for the Dragon Ball stuff. <laughs> I look no, I, I didn't get on for the Dragon Ball shit. I just got on for the Naruto shit. Mm -hmm. I, I should have, I should have, I should have did the Kamiyamama before. Went yeah, away. actually, I capped. I, I did get on for the Dragon Ball shit just to do the Kamiyamama. The Kamiyamama. Kamiyamama. I played like one or two matches. I got to kill somebody with it, and then I got off, and that was it. So the Kami your mama. That guy who did the Kami your mama thing <laughs> did a follow-up video for Gohan and Pickle. Wait, wait, what did he? What did he say this time? He said like, "Go in and pick a hole." <laughs> pick a hole. <laughs> Go pick a hole. Pick a hole. Yeah. Isn't there a dude that just fucks up names on purpose? <laughs> Is that him? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Nakamiya <Yeah>, Mama. <laughs> the sh the Shakiro Nale. <laughs> Shakiro <laughs> Shakale <laughs> Nale. <laughs> like, <laughs> Kuwe Kuwe Carrot Cake is now in Dragon Ball. Elon Misk. Yes. Elon Misk. <laughs> Hey, wait, uh, Zero, wanna play Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, Loki I kinda do. Hmm. I'll wait for the first to ten to end, though. Alright, what are we playing? Nah, I'm going to Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, we're going to Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys can just stay on this if you want. Yeah. Yeah, Chin, after this? Do you have yeah, your resin No, I don't have my resin built at all. I even use Mother. fragile. Why did you use it on today? I used oh, it on the tenacity set to try to get my HP up, and then, as it turns out, I really use it for amber. I like how divided we are. We're all fighting games players, but as soon as we go to other games, you guys go to like Genshin, we go to like Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our nerd games. <laughs> I'd say they're like the same. Yeah. So I've played both, and both are pretty good actually, but... They, they both have, they're both pretty good, but they both also have the same. Huge problems. <laughs> I don't think Genshin has like really really. Genshin has no problems actually. Nah, no, the, Genshin, has Genshin, has the Genshin problem is the community. I was about to say, yeah, yeah the it doesn't have like, like it's like a community that is but worse. I, I think I think the game itself doesn't have many problems. It has a couple, but they're pretty minor. 
It's, it's, it's so minor, but we can't even mention them right now. Yeah. Grand? What? No, Grand is if not I was, bad in if I, if I was to play Genshin more, I could probably find a couple problems, but off the top of my head, I can't. Really except for the community. The, uh, finding problems is about how to grind in Genshin. Literally, one day you can lose 60 character with yeah. Genshin 60 resin. Yeah. yeah. I think my main issue is just, like, I play like, gacha games, and, like, Play that is another thing, it is a like gacha game. Really gacha shit. games in itself are kind of a problem, but... Like, I think beats in that Genshin game is low key. You don't need a 5 star It's probably the best, it's probably the best gacha game, to be fair. Yeah. Genshin is uh, low key, uh, that goes to the mo hit a Breath of the Wild game, with a gacha system yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think Genshin really is. What are you saying? Wait. Well, Genshin really Genshin. reminds me of like a better version of the Seven Deadly Sins mm. game. Holy shit, that game. They need to they need to make like another Seven Deadly Sins game that's just like mm. it's like Genshin, bro. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Cause Seven Deadly Sins is such a good series until the final two seasons. Yeah, then they kinda yeah. This the story the story of Seven Deadly Sins is godlike. I don't care. The story I've never watched it. I the best I could do for you is probably say watch the first three seasons and then go read the manga for the rest. Yeah, it, it it's like fuck. The first three seasons the first three seasons are really good, but after that I can't really recommend it. Was it the last seasons where fucking mm. giant girl lost all of her fucking memories? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's where I stopped watching. Cause I was like, this shit is so fucking stupid. <laughs> they had a bunch of character development only to say, oh, amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, bro, like. She gets them back though. I don't give a shit anymore. Mm. That shit, bro, cause every single other episode is like, I have my memories back. Oh, nope, I don't. Damn. I guess I can't, uh, yeah, sorry, um, what the fuck the third character's name was. Mm -hmm. King. Yeah, that one. Mm. Like, bro, that, that, that fucking show just tanked its retention. Yeah. For me. The first like, three seasons are still really good, though. Yeah, I like enjoyed the first three seasons, but then the fucking like final seasons, I was like, this animation isn't good, and the story's kind of get. I'm gonna be honest, the best three characters in that show are Meliodas, Bond, and Escanor. Oh sure. Fuck Melia. Which one's Bond? <laughs> Fuck Melia. Uh, Bond is the white-haired dude. The immortal dude. Oh yeah. I like yeah. Him. I don't like Meliodas. He's He's got yeah, the nah, nah, he gets cooler, he gets cooler in the final Bro. part First of it. First of all, I'm tired of seeing, like, 40 fucking, t uh, fucking TikTok edits of them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting really fucking annoying. Yeah, and but he's still really cool. I just... I and I like his like brothers, the too. The whole archetype of, oh, I'm... I'm really powerful, but I hold it back. Watch this, watch this! I enjoy watch this, a good watch this, watch this. fight. Like, it's That's pretty the cool. thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I don't, I don't know how to say this without spoiling the story, so I'm just gonna say it. He's not really holding back. He's not really holding back. The reason he holds back is because the more power he uses, the more it like takes over him. Um, that is the most. Uh, that is the they, gayest shit I've ever heard in my no, life. No, that is. Some, uh, is that is like. It some, is, but the <laughs> form that he turns into is actually really cool. Yo, <laughs> yo, yeah, I'm gonna split it all right here. I'm gonna split it all right here. They literally break the curse, which makes them uh, uh, like can't die, and they just yeah. fucking die at the end. Yeah. Like the stupid ass shit. Like what the fuck? Nah, that was <laughs> stupid actually. Like, the whole reason was to break the curse so they're not, like, stuck to meeting each other the whole time. And then right after, Elizabeth just fucking dies. Oh my god, that is obnoxious. And it's just like, what, what was the fucking point of the series, then? But... The fucking projectile was so active that I couldn't jump. <laughs> yeah, you can't do shit. I learned, uh, how to actually use testaments in the... That was a nice, nice test, guys. Right? 
plus. Bro, <laughs> 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 I'm still curious how fucking Big Mouth has a 5 star review for almost every season on fucking Rotten Tomatoes, oh, bro. Oh god, bro, that fucking... That show is... It's trash. It's straight it up was, bad. I liked it when I was in middle well, school, people, but now it's just ass, like it, bro. Some people, some like people it. actually like it. And then how? I was like, I'm like, bro, how do y'all yeah, like this show? And they're like, like bro, I'm said, sorry you haven't went through puberty yet. And I'm like, I'm bro. sorry my fucking pubes didn't catch on fire and stick a fucking egg up my ass. Dude, no, I'm just, I like that, when I say I like that show in middle school, I meant it, but I, I can't stand it now. I can't stand it now. Like, I fucking watched it, I hated it. Nah, see, I watched it, like, when it was first new, like, I was in sixth grade. I'm sorry. If, you, if they think that show is, they say it's relatable. It's not, it's, it's not. not. I, I never thought it was relatable. I never thought it was relatable. I just watched it because it was a funny show for me. But nowadays, it, the if I was to even in that try, show aren't funny. <laughs> yeah, but that used to be my humor. If I was to try it now, I just fucking I'd rather throw. I would like literally rather throw up my lungs than watch that show nowadays. I fucked up, 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 but he's super addicted to masturbating, so he fucking edges. Uh, the way he edges, it's like he fucking conditions Danny to be no naked with a huge cock. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Bro, nah. nah the Mark series has fun. the series has went way further down than what it was when I was watching it. No, dude, yeah, dude, they like show way more cocks <laughs> than they used to or some shit. <laughs> nah, I'm just <laughs> from Big yeah, no. Is, it's oh, uncomfortable. Yeah, like the, I'm gonna be like honest. The thing, like, expands. I'm gonna be honest. If you still watch that show, either you're in middle school and you don't know what a good show is, or you're a pedophile. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like so fucking creepy. Yeah. But dude, this is like really funny. You what? Know, like, isn't like the guy who plays the Jewish kid playing Jack Warner and the new Pussycats? Are yeah, you dead ass? So. <laughs> yeah, There's no dude, way. When I first saw it, I was like, wait, is that the big guy? <laughs> 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 nah, but see, here's the difference. Look, the big mouth show that he's working on is terrible. The movie of Puss in Boots is good, so. Oh, movie yeah. in Puss in Boots. No, it's just really problem. jarring to like, hear his voice in any other circumstance than. I was jacking off, right? <laughs> 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 Like bro, it's the entire show is all. Of it. It's like when you hear, it's like when you hear or see Ryan Reynolds. Like it's hard for me to not think of Deadpool. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. It's hard for me to not think about that scene of him just fucking. Where the Mint what? Mobile commercial? Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like the nah, Deadpool is a comics. godlike movie though. Deadpool 2 kind of ruined it, but Deadpool, Deadpool 2 was amazing. Nah, I like Deadpool 2, but it just doesn't stand up to the hype that I had for Deadpool 1. Mm. I, like, I like that they're just that they just slowly just no, not even slow. They just casually introduce. I can't wait for shit. yeah. I no, I look, you say that, but hold on, Deadpool actually comes from the X Men. I, I I know I I'm 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 gay. I read comics. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nah, but the thing that I like about the X Men movie is even back then, Deadpool was played by Ryan Reynolds. Oh so. yeah, he looked like shit, but yeah, yeah, he looked terrible. Like his mouth was like fucking sewn over and shit. Yeah. No, the character known for talking and funny quips got his mouth sewn shut. Yeah, he was so much more serious in that movie, and he had like the same mm. power as Wolverine, which is, was mm. kind of weird. Yeah, he had like but... some laser spells too. Yeah. 
<laughs> he was still he was still really cool in that movie. Don't get me wrong, but y'all can't. But it's just not the same guy. In, in a movie, isn't No, that was funny as fuck. How <laughs> Deadpool just gets ripped in half and shit. <laughs> oh yeah. And he's just like, I'm gonna break you, and he's like, Oh, I'm your biggest fan, and then he just slowly but surely the process of getting ripped apart <laughs> happens. <laughs> it's like he's getting picked up, and he's like, Can I get an autograph? And then like two seconds later, he's like literally screaming in pain. <laughs> 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 uh no, I do not. It's, it's hard to explain. It's basically just like generic fantasy story, but like it's from the perspective of a grandpa telling his kid the story or some shit. Got like fourth wall breaks. But the thing is, it's like Deadpool. They fucking copied it <laughs> because they made a PG-13 version, but. In order to censor it, they just had Deadpool constantly cutting in and like making comments with some guy he like kidnapped. <laughs> nah, but You're look, great. that works so well for Deadpool Dude, actually. So fucking great. Dude, <laughs> Bro. I think it's even the same actor as from that movie. Like who played the kid. Yeah. He just like fucking kidnapped him and he's like and you see, that's when I got ripped in half. <laughs> it was really, it really fucking hurt. Deadpool <laughs> does that in like every movie though. Even in the original, even when it wasn't like to be PG-13, he was still cutting in to make jokes and shit. No, but like, it's that's even that's funnier. It's like, <laughs> it, it, not, it's just like creeping out shit. Just We're not gonna watch it out. in the background. Yeah. They, like, he added he just explains it. it, yeah. Exactly. And he like makes jokes about it, he's like, yeah, this is I fucked this woman. <laughs> like, nah, wow. if they if they wanted it to still be rated R, they could have had him cut in, and then they were like, when before it grew back, I couldn't <laughs> use my penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I couldn't use my penis. <laughs> Nah, I can't wait for Deadpool 3, because now Wolverine is going to be on it and shit. Oh, yeah. I just have one question. So, if Deadpool gets ripped in half while he's hard, what happens? Uh... Yeah, it would still be... Yeah, it'd still be hard until it eventually goes soft. Yeah, still mm. he's like fucking runs out of blood. Yeah. But dude, will he grow back soft, have... or will he grow back hard? Just oh. soft. <laughs> unless he's yeah, unless he's turned on at the moment, I guess. But, I have a question, but it's like a very slow process, so <laughs> to stay like turned on for that long would be kind of weird. But also, like, I have a question: Why, when he got ripped in half, why didn't he make two dead ones? I was expecting that. Uh, cause that's just not how it works. Cause... <laughs> Actually, buddy, that's not how it works around here. Nah, the way it works is like, if you were to rip off his head and throw his head, it, his body wouldn't grow back another head. His head would just grow back another <laughs> body. I know, I was just expecting them to make a joke about like a second Deadpool or some shit. Nah, it's just like... I, I'm guessing he needs his brain to make a body. Either that or like some cell nucleus shit. <laughs> Yeah. I remember that where I get to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. But also, so they're making, they're definitely making Deadpool. They're already in production. Yeah. But Disney also wants to make the X Men the MCU. But they don't want to do anything with boxes. X Men. That's why I'm confused. The so are they just gonna rewrite Deadpool then? Or? I don't fucking know. Like, oh, they're gonna take the Deadpool from the X Men movie, like how he's evil, and then he has like the Logan power and shit, or like. Oh my god, die! <laughs> Cause I think both Deadpools Stop! are cool. I just like the funnier one more. <laughs> I like the one's also more. I like the Ryan Reynolds yeah. better. Cause like the the, the the other one that stitched out map that's just trying too hard. At me, so. Yeah, he was a cool villain for the time though. Cause I like how he goes from I like how he goes from being like on the X Men to like being the villain. But I also feel like just it just wouldn't it, it wouldn't work nowadays. Yeah, it's like so fucking. It was good for the 2010. Yeah, like that's the only Eric. It's such a 2010s thing, yeah. Like that definitely would not work nowadays. Fuck. Them. 
Bro, they would get fucking laughed at. They tried. Yeah, I'd just be like, what, what is it, 2011, bro? <laughs> but dude, I am tired of Disney and Marvel making just tons of fucking villains that are always just. Bro, did you see that they're, they're coming out with another movie. Fast and Furious movie? Oh, I'm about to go watch Fast and Furious without my girlfriend. No, that shit's Ooh. ass, bro. Ooh. Just let the series go. <laughs> John Cena's still in this one too, and longer they can drag it off. I'm waiting for Peacemaker season two for real. You oh, look like shit, you watched Peacemaker. <laughs> nah, Peacemaker's really good. I don't. Care. <laughs> no one's telling me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cause Marvel keeps buying like the bullshit I don't worry, like I'm Disney not gonna be now. on YouTube either. So it's like trying to make the movies like PG-13 and it's like Oh my goodness. No, but it's like buying series that are made to be rated R and like trying to make them PG-13 and they just don't work. It really fucked up. So they're like ruining their series. As fucking DC has always been a rated R PG 13 thing, so. Yeah, like. Wait, dude, the fucking Wait DC is. Like. Rated R? Yeah, it, it, do you know. Bro, Red Hood's. Like, he literally comes back just to try to kill Batman and Joker, bro. That is not. That is not a Marvel fucking storyline. <laughs> Well, Punisher, but then they canceled Punisher. Yeah. You motherfucker! You kept amassing you fucking little ass off. Bro, Punisher was so. I don't care what That's because that was back when they didn't mm. try to make everything PG-13. Nah, but like even some of the Batman shit is like rated R. Oh, like yeah. the fucking the deranged, Batman? how deranged yeah, the Riddler like, was, bro. Yeah, like that is not that is not PG-13. Or Holy like shit. the relationship between Joker and Harley is just it's not PG-13 at all. What do you mean abusive relationships are always good? Nah, that man like literally puts Harley through hell just for him to not even love her. <laughs> he has literally brainwashed her. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the Suicide Squad version of Joker? Nah, I'm talking about just the relationship in general. It is pretty All versions of Joker uh, just abuse Harley. There is one. There is one version where uh, Batman gets with Harley. Actually, it's kind of funny. Isn't that the fight? You stupid fucking bitch! Kill yourself. There's also a version where like uh, Bruce That's actually nice. dies and his dad becomes the Batman. <laughs> oh yeah, Flash. Are you gonna Man. really leave it at Sigma? Yeah. <laughs> no. Alright, so what's the score? Six, Six nine. nine. And who's winning? Uh, Watson. Uh Oh you kill yourself, you stupid ass I just fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, but, dude. Marvel has to stop making so many fucking shows. Fuck, even the Nightwing storyline is like rated R. <laughs> Bro, and they... Yeah, dude. All... I mean, the Robin stories in general are kind of fucked up. Yeah, all of them like, are. It's all about orphans being taken in only to fucking die. After like three yeah. years of finally having parents. Oh, I still I'm think that Red Hood got done dirty, dude. though. Okay. Red Hood has, like, the saddest mm. story out of all the Robins. Yeah. Because, like, Batman literally just left him, bro. <laughs> He's, I, I'm surprised the, guy, the most paranoid guy ever really just thought, Yep, my son's definitely dead. Yeah. No he, other investigation. No. Hmm. It's fine. Bro, some some about Nightwing dying because he got a fucking pebble thrown at him is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one version of the story, and then there's others where he's still alive. 
That's the shit. thing about comics. There's like so many different like universes of this shit. Oh yeah, it's dude. Like DC it's literally really just timelines. It's like, just so ironic that his name is Dick and then he dies to a fucking Dick Grayson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is sad. Like, even the Injustice storylines are kind of fucked up. No, like, Injustice those versions. Is definitely like fucked up. Yeah. Like, Joker kills flash. Superman's family. Superman fucks Joker up. How does Killing Joker games. even have the power to do that? Super he just blows up the city. He nukes him. Yeah. He actually sets off just a nuke. Yeah. Jesus. Superman can't stop a nuke. Because if I remember correctly, didn't Joker like set up a crime for Superman to go to outside of the town? Yeah, as he like nuked it. Outside, and the, like, yeah. It fucking disintegrated Flash and breathed Yeah. Out. Yeah, and then they different timeline versions of them come back and shit, yeah. Mm. That's how they're in the game. It it's all fucked up storyline. <laughs> I mean, dude, I remember I saw, like, they made the, like, afterwards comic, it gets fucked, even more fucked up. Yeah. Like, dude, Zod comes back, kills almost everyone. Mm -hmm. And then, like, a bunch more people die. And then the fucking story just And then the way that Joker, like, fucking betrays Batman, or not Joker, I mean, uh, Robin just betrays Batman for Superman. <laughs> Just just my, like, if, if it's pretty clear that Superman's crossing lines, I'm pretty sure the full fucking justice will be taken. No, no. That has been proven multiple times that that is not true. <laughs> there, there's literally, like, two movies where they try to get Superman, and they fucking lose twice. They get destroyed twice at that. The only one that I feel like even has a chance at it is Batman, and even then he failed, so... Yeah. Dude, like... Yeah, like all of comic... a lot of comic books... I'm still confused. I, I'm still confused of how Batman got Kryptonite. Um... They never really explained that. Whenever, uh... Whenever yeah, I played it, I was like... Where do you get that? <laughs> yeah. Like... Even the movie about Batman vs. Superman doesn't explain where he got Kryptonite. It's like... Now, now the show kinda says something like, cause Superman gives Batman Kryptonite in case he goes, like, on a rampage, but... Okay, so I the know. movie and the game just never say that, so... How is there so much fucking Kryptonite on Earth? <sighs> From a planet that blew up Millions of light missile away or some shit. Like that's like that's why the only thing that makes sense is the show's mm -hmm. canon of it when Superman gives it to Batman. That is the only one that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But like comic book stories in general are just fucked up. Like Oh yeah, like, most of them. Thing is like his dad left him that his mom got hurt. Yeah, and then Reverse Flash's whole thing is like literally just because he's jealous, so he tries to make. Because it was he really just, very. <laughs> he just makes. <laughs> nah, he I like literally. I don't want to you off when the girl touched you. Not. <laughs> nah, I jerked nah, you just, off at like speed. That, that <laughs> meme is. Nah, but that meme is so much better because it's like so accurate. Because that would be something that he would do. Dude, in the actual comics, do you know what he did in this time? Yeah, he. He, he can't he kill. Killing, yeah, he... killing the like boyfriends of his crush, and then he just killed her. He just kept yeah, like, erasing but... the existence. Look, this man was so petty that he can't kill Barry because then he'll never become the Reverse Flash, right? So instead, he goes back in time and kills Barry's mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, just he is her. that petty. <laughs> Cause he wants to stay Reverse Flash, but he wants Barry to suffer, so he kills his mom. <laughs> I'm the one, Barry. I'm the one who jerked you off when the girl touched you. I am the one. Like he, really, he, he just tries his hardest to make Barry's life terrible. I want. I want to test his pendant. You see the pendant on her hat? I want to test his pendant. I remember. What was it, dude? Okay. 
from Bruce Flash. Dude, this is story. I know like, quite a bit on comics Watchmen. for no reason. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Watchmen. Fucking like, came to the DC universe. And Dr. Mm -hmm. Manhattan, who's the, the god, disintegrated him. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. just comes back because of pure will of hating Barry out. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's like literally how they explain it. Like, yeah. It's like Dr. He was Manhattan. Literally reverse system. reverse flash is literally just petty if it was a person. <laughs> reverse flash. Nah. But here's another thing. Uh did you know that the there's a storyline of Deadpool having like a daughter with death and Thanos was like the original lover of death and then Thanos comes back to kill <laughs> Yes, I did know Deadpool about this shit. It's so uh, fucking <laughs> weird. Dude, the it's so goofy. Did you know that this fucking original, uh, Like, that is not a Disney timeline! <laughs> That's why TC's so much better. The original fucking Infinity was literally just... Thanos killed everyone because he thought it would impress death. Yeah. Because he liked her. That's the entire reason. And then Deadpool still got with you. <laughs> wow. So he just missed, he, he like, he, he just magically missed Deadpool? No, dude, like, he No, broke Deadpool's crazy. like a mortal, so... Yeah, but like, no, wouldn't but it take time to grow back? Yeah, it but, like, does, he but... That, uh, the story, he just froze like, every single hero in time, but then he snapped his fingers and killed everyone. But, except for the people frozen in time. Yeah. So all the heroes just came back with his fucking... Just a zombie girlfriend, fake girlfriend, betrayed him. Yeah, mm. and Deadpool just wasn't affected by it. Mm. He's Deadpool ain't no hero. Yeah, he's not. He looks at the level of time in the yeah. first movie. I, I do like Deadpool's story though, because he literally went from just being a normal person that was also an assassin. Wait! One. To be you like you piece of you <laughs> that what he To just being someone that murders as a job, <laughs> but it isn't like arrested for it. <laughs> I know, I know, it does combo. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, it does combo. Mm. To be honest, I don't know, it does combo. I really went to hit you with it. That is literally me with sin. I don't know, it does combo with sin. I just really mm. wanted to hit you mm. with it. But like, this, have you ever read Fuck, even Marvel? the Deadpool story can't ever be a Marvel story. Oh fuck, dude! Like, like you should so never dude. make that word, dude. I am surprised that they ever you made the future pass. Whoa, whoa! Because it's a <laughs> bunch of racists making super machines that are designed to murder every every I don't person in the world. Did. And like mm. I gave you the salty like run back and you decided to win. Where there's the really side that oh. every <laughs> single hero except for like Well you want so I need my soul I need my is just said eliminated. Yeah. Except for him and then he dies. And then and they then have then, to go back in time. But I mean just like even the setup like how his face got like that, how he got his powers and shit, it's so fucked up that I could never see that being Marvel. <laughs> oh yeah. Can I torture you until you get, uh, this power? The most fucked up shit I've ever seen in Marvel was the Iron Man death. That's like... What happened to Iron Man? Like how he snapped and it killed him too. That's like really the most... Well, recently. I should say recently. I've seen more fucked up through the comics of Marvel, but... Oh. Dude, what? the most fucked up... Have you ever heard of Marvel clips? Uh, I want my salty. I might. <laughs> Motherfucker, that was two it's games. That wasn't salty. I want, if I want my salty. Was in the actual, like, real world. Yeah. Like, and everyone just being, dies. Or yeah, because it's like realistic things, so everybody just dies. Like, yeah. The fucking hmm, like Silver Surfer kills himself, and then he fuck, but then his death makes all the aliens in the world like visible to humans. So humans fucking nuke aliens in space, then hold them for capture as like prisoners of war. And also like Professor X becomes president using his psychic powers. Yeah. But then he just fucking tortures every X-Men too. Yeah. And like there's all sorts of shit like Iron Man. Doesn't Logan get cancer in that movie? Or I mean in that comic. 
Yeah, like, Logan, no, like, Logan has the metal in his bones, but it just heals yeah. him instantly. Yeah, like he like, gets uh you, like overdose no, of cancer and dies. No 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 like awful disease that just yeah I was about to say doesn't he get a disease yeah I think I have read that or seen that comic yeah, yeah dude it's like imagine fun, reading like Magneto. Imagine dude, reading Magneto. I don't read them I watch people like explain the stories I'm lame I, I got oh, don't you watch anime like non-stop yeah I don't think you really have room to talk imagine reading though oh, at least I'll read, read. You, you read Bro. subtitles Mm. Who said I watched up? And you could always <laughs> just read the manga too. <laughs> okay, I'm, done. I'm done. I know that damn well so that you. GG. I know <laughs> damn well that you watch <laughs> those animes and sub. Uh. Well, I think Hook has officially given up on fighters now that he doesn't have a sponsor. I haven't seen him hop on fighters in a billion years. I thought he saw just on it. it. No, he wasn't. But the literal notification said, Peace out, guys. Nice.